Welcome back, my YouTube family. I am your instructor, Rashid. Are you tired of creating invoices manually? What if I tell you there's a magical tool that can do all the hard work for you? Meet DeepSeek AI, your new best friend for invoicing. Let me show you how it works. Here's a professional invoice template made with DeepSeek AI. It's super clean and easy to use. Look at this. From sections for your, your company details bill, Two is about your client's details. A table for listing items with automatic calculations for quantity, unit price, and total. And the best part? You can add more items with just one click. See that? With DeepSeek AI, adding new items is as easy as clicking a button. No more wasting time on boring, repetitive tasks. But wait, there's more. Once your invoice is ready, just click the Save to Database button. Watch as DeepSeek AI saves all your data to a secure database sheet. Look at this. Every detail, like the invoice number, customer name, item descriptions, and totals, is saved automatically. And you can access this data anytime for future use or reports. Imagine how much time you'll save with DeepSeek AI. No more manual entries, no more mistakes, and no more stress. Just smooth, automated invoicing. So. Are you ready to make your invoicing process super easy? Whether you're a business owner, freelancer, or just someone who hates manual work, DeepSeek AI is here to help you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing tips and tools. And hey, if you want to see the full tutorial on how to set this up, stay tuned. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to use DeepSeek AI to create magic with your invoices. Now, let's move on to the fun part. Creating our invoice template. All right, let's talk about the prompt. A good prompt is the key to getting the best results from DeepSeek. Here's how I crafted mine. Start with the goal. I clearly stated that I wanted to create a professional invoice template in Excel using VBA. Break down the requirements. I listed all the sections I needed, the header, company details, itemized table, totals, and footer. Be specific. I included details like font styles, borders, shading, and even sample data. Mention automation. I asked for a button to dynamically add rows to the itemized table. This level of detail ensures DeepSeek understands exactly what I need. Without a clear prompt, you might end up with generic or incomplete results. Now, let's see how DeepSeek turns this prompt into a fully functional Excel template. Press Ctrl A to select Complete Prompt, right click on this and select Copy. Then go Deep Seek AI and paste the prompt here. Once I submitted the prompt, Deep Seek generated the VBA code for the invoice template. Here's how it works copy the code. Deep Seek provides the complete VBA code. I just copied it. Paste into Excel. I open the VBA editor in Excel, press ALTF11, and then add new module and pasted the code. Press Alt F8. Window will pop up and select your relevant macro and press run. The template created. Let me show you the final result. Look at this a professional invoice template with all the sections we asked for, perfectly formatted and ready to use. And remember that add row button. It dynamically inserts new rows into the itemized table, complete with formulas and formatting. This is the kind of automation that saves you hours of work. First, I provide my company information and customer details in the invoice. Then, I rename Sheet 1 to Database, where I create headers to store the data of each invoice for future use. Now, the database sheet is ready. Alright, let's talk about the prompt we'll use to create the data saving functionality. A good prompt is clear, specific, and detailed. Here's how I crafted mine. I started by stating that I need a VBA code to save data from the invoice template sheet to a database sheet. I specified the exact sheet name, invoice template, and the cells where the invoice details are located. 
For example, invoice number is in cell B3. Date is in cell B4. Customer name is in cell E8. City, state, zip is in cell E10. Itemized table. I describe the structure of the itemized table, which starts from row 15 with columns for item number, description, quantity, unit price, and total. Destination sheet. Details. I specified that the data should be saved in a sheet named database, with specific headers like date, customer name, city, state, zip, and so on. Functionality. I explained how the code should work. Loop through the itemized table. Copy each row of data to the database sheet. Repeat the date, customer name, city, state, zip, and invoice number for each item. Append the data to the next available row in the database sheet. This level of detail ensures DeepSeek understands exactly what we need. Now, let's generate the VBA code. Now that we have our prompt ready, Control A to select all data and press Control C to copy data from Word file. Let's head over to DeepSeek. I'll paste the prompt into DeepSeek and let it work its magic. And here's the result a complete VBA code that does exactly what we asked for. DeepSeek has saved us hours of manual coding. Now let's implement this code in Excel. Copy the code, press Alt plus F11 to open the VBA editor. Go to Insert Module and paste the VBA code generated by DeepSeek and close this window. Go to the Developer tab, select Insert and choose the button option. Draw a button here. I will assign the save invoice to database macro to this button and rename it to add invoice. Now I will click on this button. As you can see, the invoice number has been saved in the database. Next, I will change the invoice number from 1 to 2 and save it again. You can see that invoice number 2 has also been added to the database. Later, we can analyze this data as needed. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And if you're ready to supercharge your Excel skills, check out DeepSeek using the link in the description. Trust me, it's a game changer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep creating and stay productive. Bye.